Hey guys, thank you so much for choosing At Home Yoga with Nicole to do your practice today. If you like this video, be sure to check out my Patreon, which is listed in the show notes. Also subscribe because a new class is gonna be out every single Monday. And then if you'd like to donate for content creation for future videos, you can always donate at Venmo or PayPal. All of that's listed on my Instagram at At Home Yoga with Nicole, all one word. Thank you so much, enjoy your practice. Welcome to At Home Yoga with Nicole. I am Nicole, this is my home. Um, and today we're gonna be doing a slow and low practice, meaning if you're looking for yoga to do before bed just to wind down, this is a good one for you. Also, if you're someone who's returning to yoga after a long time, you wanna get back into it, ease into it, or you've never done yoga in your life, you barely have even heard of yoga, that's okay too. Um, also, if you've been practicing for a long while, this is a good practice to really get in tune with matching the movement and breath and being mindful with your practice. Um, so basically it's for everybody. <laughs> anyway, let's head to our mats. You'll need two props today, um, one being a pillow. So you can grab a pillow from your bed, you can grab it from the couch. I'm using this guy, this is Zapfu. Um, you don't need one of these, but if you're a floor sitter like me, this is awesome to have. So that, uh, and then just a blanket. Now if you don't have either of those things, that is a-okay. You can still practice with us. Um, but if you're somebody like me who has taken a lot of classes and it's uh, props are optional, today would be the day to just do it, to just try it, because it's good to see why uh, instructors are suggesting the props, see what it does to your body. Also, one of my absolute favorite forms of yoga is restorative, so if you ever find a restorative class, or if I ever do a restorative class, um, it's the best, but it's usually like a whole prop party, right? You grab every prop there is, um, and it's wonderful. Props are our friends. So, um, this practice is, like I said, nice and slow, meaning it's going to challenge us to be mindful. A lot of times if we're moving quickly through practice, we're getting the heart rate up, it's easy to distract your brain, right? It's easy to focus on that one thing because it's moving just as quick as your brain does. But when we slow it down, when we take time, that's when the challenge of staying present is really presented to us, right? So it's all about like staying in our moment, staying on the mat and not starting to make our grocery lists. Now the reality is you will make a grocery list, I will make a grocery list, we will make plans for the rest of the day. That is totally natural. But the more we practice, the more we put it into practice of having thoughts kind of zoom in and then being able to quickly let them go, the easier it becomes. So that will be the challenge of this practice today. Why don't you grab that pillow, whatever pillow it is, and we're gonna put it underneath our bottoms, basically lifting the hips up, allowing the hips to come higher than the knees. And what this does is it creates, you have to do less work sitting taller. Basically the pillow is helping us do that. Um, so you wanna check in with how you're sitting, laying through the crown of the head, being mindful that you're not puffing out your chest or sitting too far back, just finding that natural phase. And then you're gonna take your palms, you can turn them up if you're feeling like I'm open, I'm available this morning, or turn them down if you're feeling that anxious buzz and you need some grounding energy. We're just gonna do a little grounding exercise. You've probably done this before with me if you've taken my classes, but it's a nice way to kind of start off our practice. So if you feel comfortable shutting your eyes, let those eyes shut. And if you're watching the video, just a soft gaze. It doesn't have to be fixated, just enough so you can see what you need to see. And I want you to just start to tune into the breath without trying to control it, without trying to do a perfect yoga breath, because there is none. Um, just notice how you're breathing. Is your breath living heavily in your chest or is it able to kind of travel down to the belly area? If you can encourage the belly to kind of fill, expand and contract, try it out. And then ask yourself how you're feeling today. And whatever you're feeling, welcome that in. There's no judgment here. So if you're feeling sad, let's embrace that sadness. If you are feeling joyful, excited, energetic, great. Um, how do you have no opinion? Just be present and say, this is how I feel. Okay, now I know. Because a lot of times we don't slow down enough to even notice how we're feeling until it's too late. And then 
then start to notice what you're hearing in the room. Oh, I hear Winston's footsteps. your dog. <laughs> Maybe you hear, it's January here, I hear the ice melting outside the room, kind of crackling. Maybe it's your roommates or your family, or maybe it's nothing at all, and that's okay too. And then start to not notice how you feel, if you're cool or warm. Notice the difference between the bare skin and the skin that has clothing touching it. Notice the air quality around you. And then start to notice the taste in your mouth. Maybe you just brushed your teeth or had a cup of coffee. It could be as simple as just cold water that you drank right before. And we're going to take a moment to set an intention for yourself. So something that you feel like you need to connect to today. It may be patience with yourself or with others. It may be uh, strength, it may be ease or breath. Whatever that is, I want you to bring that one word to the forefront, right behind that third eye. We're going to start off class by doing three nice cleansing breaths. So meaning we're going to inhale through the nose and deep exhale through the mouth. You can even make some noise if you want. So let's try it out. Inhale through the nose, breathe in that one word intention and sigh it out through the mouth. Again, nice deep inhale through the nose. And sigh out through the mouth. Last one, make it your deepest breath. Inhale through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth. Beautiful. Your eyes are shut, let them flutter open. We'll take the hands together in prayer right in front of us. Drop the chin to the chest, just getting that nice stretch up the back of the neck. And you want to really engage, pressing those hands together. Elbows come back, almost like the shoulder blades are trying to kiss each other. And breathe here. You're going to feel that activation in the upper back, the neck. And from here, just a little side to side with the neck. Continue that deep breathing. Going as quickly or as slowly as you need. And as always, it's your practice. So if anything I do doesn't feel good to your body, don't do it, right? Beautiful. Then we're going to take the hands out to the side. Fingertips down like you're making little tents. Now, my booty is up. I'm very short. So like my middle fingers are barely touching. Whatever you need. But we want to just make sure that we're not overcompensating to reach and we're not caving the shoulders in. We're just finding a nice balance here. Let's just remove my breath. All right, we're gonna match movement with breath with a little flow here. So we're gonna take a nice deep inhale through the nose and bring those arms above our heads. And exhale, release nice and slow. Let's do it again, inhale up. And exhale down. Again, inhale up, exhale down, maybe your inhale gets a little bit longer, inhale up, check that the shoulders are not reaching up by the ears but we're finding space, exhale down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
exhale down. Nice, then taking the right hand, the opposite knee. We're just gonna do a little twist here. So you don't need to crank it, it's just twisting in the spine. Gaze is over that shoulder, getting that nice spinal flexion. We're really twisting out like we're wringing out a wet towel, right? Take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, slowly come forward, opposite hand to the knee, and turn around. You can even place this opposite hand on the lower back. Nice twist. Twist of the spine, you may feel it in the shoulder. Gaze is over that shoulder. Inhale in, exhale, float forward. Great. We're gonna remove that pillow, put it aside, and then grab that blanket. We're gonna put it under our knees. Even if your knees don't need it, try it out. It's actually really lovely. But just giving yourself that little extra cushion here. We're gonna get into tabletop position. So meaning shoulders over the wrists. You want a nice flat spine. And then tops of the feet touch down into the earth. You wanna make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on the knee and you are pressing down into those feet, right? So we're gonna do a little cow, cow just flowing through. Inhale, belly drops, gaze comes forward, the fronts of the arms shooting forward. Exhale, pull the belly button back, chin drops to chest. You want a nice strong spine. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Now moving with your own breath. Each inhale, we're gonna do that cow. Make sure you're pressing away from the earth, not dropping down. Exhale, pull back. And make it like you're dancing. So we start from the crown of the head, that's part of the spine. And exhale, come through. Great, and then find your neutral spine again. We want a strong core. If you're somebody who's getting back into yoga, the core is really important for us. Now, does that mean you need a sick pack? Absolutely not. Does it mean you can't eat cupcakes? No way. But really strengthening the core, doing a couple exercises every day is gonna help you here. Even just staying in tabletop and activating it, pushing the earth away, pressing the tops of feet down into the mat. If you do all of those, you're gonna feel, I even have a little bit of a shake in me right now. You can't see it probably, but just engaging that is making my shoulders stronger. And then we're gonna take it a step further. So try by reaching the right arm up and forward. Now this may be enough for you today. You can hang out here or play with lifting up that left leg. Now you wanna be mindful, we don't wanna lift it too high, just nice straight spine. Pull the belly button back, tuck those lower ribs in. And if you need a little kickstand here with your toes, you can do that or press the tops of the toes down. Breathe. Gaze is just right out in front of you. You don't need to crane your neck. One more deep inhale. And on the exhale, lower the hand down, just bend the knee. Beautiful. And then slowly lower it down. Nice, we're gonna do the other side. So you can give your tail a little wag if that feels good. And activate that tabletop. Inhale the left arm up and forward. Find your balance here first. Then the opposite leg comes out, right? Find that beautiful straight line. Engage, reaching with the toes, reaching with the fingers. Tuck the lower ribs in. See, we don't wanna find that cat, or rather that cow belly. You wanna really find that flat back. Challenge for the core. Soften here. If this is easy for you, this is exactly where you're gonna start making that grocery list. See if you can rejoin the brain with the one word intention. And keep breathing. If it's slightly labored, that's okay. And let's lower the hand down, bend the knee. Beautiful, we'll get into that glute and then slowly lower down. Nice, nice. So now we're gonna keep the knees here, but walk the hands forward. And keep walking them as the heart reaches down towards your mat. This is puppy pose, speaking of puppies, he's ever present. <laughs> and then slowly melt down. You want the hips to stay over. So it's almost like 
It's similar to a child's pose, but you want the heart to kind of reach down towards the mat, right? So it reaches forward, heart melts down, booty stays up. Like you're a playful puppy, forehead down to the mat. It's a great heart opener, a challenging spinal pose, but super good for the back. Keep breathing here. Last few breaths. And we'll slowly walk up, open those knees nice and wide, and pull back into a child's pose. Now, my favorite version of child's pose is this open knees because it gives room for your belly so you can breathe. And it's extended, meaning the arms are outstretched. Now, if you like a different version, go for it. Relax the head to the floor, or rather the forehead to the mat. And take a moment to breathe here. Breathe nice and deep. Let gravity help you, you're getting nice and heavy. Beautiful. One more deep inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna walk the hands back, bring those knees back together, and then tuck the toes. And if you can, bring the sits bones back towards the heels. Now this may be enough for you. This is really good for the toes, the feet, the ankles. Or if you can, walk the hands up here. Now we've got this help for the knees, which is awesome. So if you have sensitive knees, this is gonna be helpful here. I'm just gonna roll the shoulders back here. Now this is great. You take some time here. We're really gonna stretch out the feet. Keep breathing. Maybe let the eyes power down. Nice and soft. Your soft gaze. Taking your time. Noticing if you're starting to feel that burn a little bit, the good kind. Maybe encourage those little toes to reach down towards the mat. Beautiful. And if you want to take it a step further, you can take the hands in front of you. Right hand can pat yourself on the back. Yes, I'm doing yoga. Left hand can reach up the back. So you're going to look like this behind you. I know it's a lot for your toes, so give yourself breaks if you need. This is good for opening the shoulders. And we'll reverse it by bringing the hand out in front. Left hand pats you on the back. Right hand turns up. Now you may be able to touch your fingers. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. This is easy yoga, so don't push it. Breathe into it. Last couple of breaths. And let's unwind, come forward. And guess what, just tap those feet on the mat. Woo, I feel it. It's so good, maybe roll for the ankles. Woo, <laughs> bop, excellent. Now we're gonna come backwards. We're gonna move our blanket off to the side. And from here, we're just gonna reach the booty up into a nice forward fold. I know I said low and slow, we're gonna do a couple standing poses, I promise. Find your fold and give a hearty bend to the knees. Let your belly drape over the tops of the thighs. Most important, let the head hang heavy like a bowling ball. So shake it out, yes. I love yoga, no, I never want it to end. If you wanna grab opposite elbows and just sway side to side. You're getting a nice stretch to the back of the hamstrings, a real good release of the upper spine if you are able to just release that head. Breathe. Again, staying here a little lo longer than, <laughs> I'm already too relaxed. Staying here a little longer than you naturally would, you normally would in a practice. Refocus that one word intention. And feel that the longer you hold it, the more there's like a release of the spine. 
Take that timer. Embrace how you're feeling, how your body's doing. And finally, release those hands. Nice deep inhale. Press down into the feet and nice and slow roll up. Head is going to be the last thing up. Take your time. And then stand tall into your mountain pose. Beautiful. From here, we want to work on balance just slightly. A grounded energy. We're going to go into tree pose. But the most basic of trees. So we're not going to push it. Uh, what we want to do is shift the weight over to the right foot. Really ground down through all four corners of the feet, right? Lift up through the quads, tuck the tailbone under. And then we're just gonna take that left foot and bring it just above the ankle. We're opening that hip, we're challenging the balance. Hands come to prayer for the heart. Now just stay here. If you're used to coming all the way up here and doing all of the fancy trees, try to come back to basics. Allow your body just time to feel what this is like making all the tiny adjustments. I always have to pull the belly button back, tuck the lower ribs in, open the hip. And if you're out of balance, that's okay. Balance can tell us a lot. It can tell us how we slept, if we're a little off, maybe you didn't get enough sleep, maybe distracted, just finding a point on the wall in front of you that's not moving, it's not me, or in the video. And just breathe. Relax those shoulders. Take time, right? Remind yourself of that one word. Now you may feel the ankle like me. I've sprained my ankles a hundred times. Constantly adjusting for balance, that's good, right? It's your body finding that equilibrium. Now if you'd like to grow your tree up, I know my hands are going out of the picture, but you get it. You can grow, but continue to open up, tuck the tailbone under, breathe. Last couple of breaths here. And then nice and slow, reverse it. So bring the hands together down to the heart, and we come out of this. Roll through that right ankle. Give it some love, maybe you shake it out. And then we're gonna do the other side. So shifting the weight over to the left, really firm up, right? We want a nice firm base. And then just bringing that foot just above the ankle, open the hip, and hands come to prayer. Here you can challenge yourself by shutting your eyes. It is, balancing is always more challenging with the eyes shut. So if tree is a regular part of your practice, allowing the eyes to shut is a nice way to kind of turn it up. And reminding yourself why you're here, right? Your one word intention. Why are you practicing today? And you may do this video a hundred times. You may do it before bed every night this week, but the intention will always be different. And therefore the practice will always be different. Keep breathing. One side is going to be different than the other. The side is more difficult for me. I'm a lefty though. So the left side always feels stronger and I'm doing the opposite of you. Keep breathing, have a sense of humor, right? If you fall out, well, you know, just get back in and do it slowly. You don't have to hop in, but firm up, take your time. And again, if you wanna grow your tree, blossom, and use your imagination, like if you're gonna grow, what kind of tree are you? Are you a cherry blossom? Like, are you a weeping willow? Are you an autumn or winter? Have that childlike curiosity in your practice. Have some fun, right? It should be fun, even if it is challenging. Keep breathing. And then reverse it through under your foot and roll it out, shake it out. Beautiful. Enough of this standing stuff, let's get back down. 
So find your beautiful mountain pose. We're gonna inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. And from here, just walk the feet out a little bit wider, toes pointing out. And if you can, and this is only if you can, start to just drop the booty. So you're finding yourself in a nice wide squat. Now, if your <laughs> hips are talking to you, normal. You can also always tuck multiple pillows, boop, 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 stack them up, and then just sit on top of pillows to alleviate some of the stress. But breathe. And then nice and slow if you can. And if you are not doing this in, you know, in a smooth way, that's okay. Find yourself on your pillow again, sitting tall, right? Returning to where we started. Let the eyes power down if that feels good to you. And reconnect to your breath. Ooh, mine is much deeper than when I started. And notice if there's been any changes from the top of class till now. Maybe you're breathing deeper, maybe your mind feels a little quieter. Just say a little thank you to yourself for dedicating these last few minutes, few moments, half hour to your practice. Because the hardest part is clicking the video, laying out the mat and just doing it, right? Especially at home or wherever you may be staying. And then to finish out practice, I was finished in the same way by bringing the hands together in prayer, bringing the thumbs to the center of the forehead for wisdom, to the center of the mouth for freedom, and to the center of the heart for love. Thank you so much for choosing me to practice with, for choosing this video, for giving back to your own mental health in your own body. May you carry the benefits of the practice throughout the rest of your evening, maybe into next week. I'll finish out by saying Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And you reply, peace, peace, peace. So let's try it. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace. Thank you all. Have a beautiful day.